Hello, I'm Ishani and welcome to my YouTube channel. We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day with some paper crafts and a giveaway sponsored by Tailor Made Cards for you. More about it in a while. But today I have for you three types of paper boxes that you can make easily at home without any fancy supplies. You can use any sturdy paper you have. For my projects, I'll be using these beautiful designer papers by our sponsor that I've printed on 180 GSM. They come in beautiful colors and designs. I'm using one lucky digital kit for my projects, which is a vintage style design with St. Patrick's Day themed images and colors. These digital files can be printed in various sizes like A4, A5 and A6. I'll be using these papers as whole and also do some fussy cutting of some of the images to add on to my projects. These papers are very well thought of and come in various sizes and colors and patterns which you can combine for either card making or scrapbook layouts or even make other paper crafts like I'll be making boxes today. My first box is a cute cylindrical box and actually very easy to make. I've taken this paper which has four designs and I will cut two circles from two of these patterns. You can use anything round or you could use a die if you have it. I will trace the outer tape for my outer circle from the designs on this sheet and I will also cut a little smaller circle for the inner circle of my box which you will see a little later from a normal cardstock. This way I have four circles, two patterned and two planes for my cylindrical box. Then I take a full size pattern paper and I'm going to measure out the paper to the size I require for my cylindrical box. You can use a paper trimmer if you have it. I'll be using basic tools for all my projects today. And I'm taking a craft knife and a ruler to cut out the paper for the box of height 7 cm, I need to cut out a strip of 9 cm. I use the 2 cm strip to make it into a circle, which will be small V's that we will cut out. So first I measure at 7 cm and then I'll score at 2 cm. Also for the lid, we will take a 4 cm strip, which will be scored at the middle at 2 cm. I measure on the other side of the paper and with the help of a craft knife and ruler I cut out the strip. Also for scoring the paper I am using a scoring tool but if you do not have a scoring tool you could use an old pointed brush, a boil point pen or a bone folder if you have one. So here is my paper for a 7 cm height box. You can increase the size if you want a taller box. Now we are going to cut at 1 cm distance in the folded 2 cm wide strip area by making small V's across the strip, like this. And then I fold the small V's and roll the strip and adhere it with glue at the edges to make it the body of the box. To cover the base of my cylinder, first I take the bigger circle of the designer paper and glue it to the small V's. And then I use the smaller circle cut out of the cardstock for the inside of the box by applying glue to one of its sides. Now that we have the body of the cylindrical box ready, the same is done for the box's lid. With this 4 cm wide strip of paper, I score it at 2 cm and fold it. But now I see it's not <laughs> equal. So I take the smaller side which I'll cut the similar way as we did for the body of the box and adhere the two circles similarly. I thought I could decorate the box with the designer paper so I cut out the butterflies from one of them and use a little die cut shape on the lid. I sponge my little butterfly with green around it and also at the edges of the box that I missed recording and then I adhere it at the center of the box. And here is a beautiful cylindrical box which you can use for gifting, putting candies, use for your kids. It is a great way of using pattern paper that you may have. For my second project, I've taken a cardstock 
of size 15 by 20 centimeters. This is a 250 GSM gray card stock, which will make a box of 7 by 11 inches with a 2 centimeter height and a lid that opens at the hinge. I'm going to make some measurements on this paper, which will decide how I score my paper to form into a box. The first mark is at 2 cm, which is the height, then at 9 cm, which makes 7 cm as the breadth of my box, again at 2 cm, again at 7, and then 2. On the other side of the paper, you need to mark at 2 cm again for the height. 11 cm will be the length of my box and again at 2 cm. I measure and mark at all the points and then with the scoring tool I am going to score at all my points. With the help of the ruler I make my sides stand up and burnish them to give it a shape of a box and before I cut in it here I plan to do something more to this box and make it a box with a window with a beautiful pattern paper by a kind sponsor. With the ruler, I measure on one of the sides of my box and cut out a window with my craft knife. This window will have a frame around it with the pattern paper. I measure my lid and cut out the paper of the same size as the lid of my box. But before I decorate the box, I need to make it more like a box and I cut out the sides of the box as shown and fold it and tuck in. As the lid has to be inserted for which I cut a little more at an angle to ease the insertion of the lid. And then I adhere all the sides with glue, which finally completes my little box. To decorate, I cut a piece of acetate sheet and use a double sided tape in the inner side of the box to adhere my window. You could leave it just like this or you could decorate it like I am going to with the piece of designer paper we cut earlier. I use a die cut. You can use whatever shape you like from the pattern paper, even with a craft knife. I thought to decorate the inside of the box as well as the window will show what is inside. I take the pretty pattern paper and cut to the size of the cut I had done earlier which will be perfect to be inserted inside the box. I glue the outside of the box with the pretty pattern paper and here we have a lovely see-through window box ready. Adding a window adds extra charm to the box. I hope you like this idea as well. A quick reminder that this is a blog hop and a giveaway sponsored by TaylorMade Cards for you. And more you stop, more your chances to win. This is a very quick and simple box which you can make in just 2 minutes. I'm going to use a solid color card base for this box. The base of the box will be green. You need a square piece of cardstock for these types of boxes. The size of the box will depend on the size of the paper. And you only have to make this box once. After this, you can easily make these kind of boxes in a jiffy. For the base of my box, I've taken a cardstock which measures 18 by 18 centimeters. And I'm going to make a lid of the box with a pretty pattern paper which the sponsors have given. And I'll measure it just a little smaller than the base box. When we measure the paper, the sides of the paper will give us the height of the box. So for this box, I'm going to have a height of 4 cm and I mark 4 cm from all the 4 sides. Then I score at all the 4 sides and burnish to make it in the shape of a box. I cut the sides at four places which are exactly opposite to each other. I fold the sides 
and then tuck them in and glue it into a half box. Isn't that easy? With the bottom part ready, it is time to make the upper lid. The box measures 10 cm, so the lid has to be slightly bigger than the base. Also because the height is 4 cm, we need to have a smaller lid so that it doesn't completely sink in. So when we take this pattern paper, we take it a little smaller than the previous. I am taking a 16 by 16 square centimeter sheet and because we just want few centimeter bigger lid, when we have to measure where to mark points, you can subtract the size of the lid from the paper, which in case of this box is 16 which is the size of the paper minus 10.4 which we need for the lid which is 5.6 when divided by 2 it comes 2.8 so I measure 2.8 around the paper that will be the side of our lid and I score it cut it and paste it just like we did earlier To decorate the box, I cut some elements from the designer paper to make the box more attractive. Also let me tell you that the next person on the hop is mentioned in the description box below and also do not forget to enter into the raffle copter for a chance to win a $15 gift certificate by tailor-made cards for you. If you're new to my channel, I'd love if you'd subscribe to it. It means a lot. I hope you loved all the boxes that I showed and I'd like to know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and for all your love and encouragement. Keep safe and happy crafting. Bye-bye.